A love cake. Yes, Valentine's Day is coming up fast and to celebrate I am creating this love cake. Also, we just need more love in general. Let's just celebrate more love. How about that? I'm excited about this. Let's get started. Welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Music Soul Child. Let's get into this video. Now, I really wanted to make a Valentine's Day cake, but I didn't want to make a heart cake this year, maybe next year, or maybe like a rose next year. I don't know. So I decided to make a love cake. Everyone's seen this sign. I think the most famous one is in Philadelphia. The one that we have in California is actually in front of the Panda Express headquarters building. Now, why? I, I don't know, but... I don't know. This is a very simple cake with a very simple message that everybody just needs to take in right now. So to create this cake, each of my layers is gonna be nine by four inches. Look at my shirt, you guys. I, I really like the shirt. It's super comfortable, but the more I look at it, I look like a Asian Charlie Brown lumberjack. <laughs> I like the Filipino brawny guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I'm stacking each of my cakes and I'm using four layers, but the pan size that I actually used gave me two extra layers. I didn't end up using them. Now I am working with frozen cakes, which made this so easy to stack as well as carve. Frozen cakes solidified the icing in between each layer and then it didn't move when I was carving the cake. So I had a very easy time for an already easy cake. Now after I finished icing each of my layers, I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. I tried to make this as straight as possible, but you know as gays, we can't really do anything straight. Now the love sign is completely red, but I really wanted to showcase this during Pride Month as well. So I decided to make a rainbow version of the love sign. So I'm just brushing on some rainbow food coloring mixed with a little bit of magic sauce to create my rainbow. I know it's not a true rainbow because there's no brown, black, or red because I switched the red out for pink. But it's still beautiful, I love it. Now for the more traditional love sign, I got some red fondant out here. And I actually let my fondant sit out for like, I don't know, like five or six hours. I think I was watching Oprah or clips of the Oprah Winfrey show on YouTube. Watching Super Soul Sunday on a Tuesday. Oh my God, it just lifts you up. So after I finished with my love sign, I went on to the rainbow love sign. And I dusted this with a little bit of powdered sugar just to make sure that it didn't stick to the stencil. Otherwise, it could have been a disaster. I'm just gonna repeat the process again. Pull away the excess fondant and just reveal my beautiful rainbow love sign. Oh my gosh. Pride month, here we come. Brought to you by Asian Charlie Brown. Now I took my cake back out and I iced it with some more icing. After that, I started to crumb coat the edges, not with crumbs, but with, what is that? I um, what is it called? Coconut! It's just dried coconut. I thought it looked really cute, like confetti. Now very slowly, oh my god, with two cake boards, I just pushed the love sign in and prayed to the gods that it would stick. And it did! So we got one, and then we got the other. You might want to wait a few hours just to make sure that they solidify so that they don't slide off the cake at all. And voila! My love cake was complete. Oh, I love this cake. We do need more love in our lives. I've been like depressed because of the pandemic in the last four years. You know, I. So I just wanted to make a cake that was uplifting and hopeful. Oh, it should have said hope. What if it could have said hope too? I'm very curious, if you are a cake decorator, how much would you charge for a cake like this? I love this idea, the just letters on the side. It looks beautiful, huh? Now in other news, this cake. So this cake has been in that corner for like, six years? <laughs> well, it hasn't been in that corner for six years, but it's been in every Quali Pops video for about six years. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it's cracking. There's so much dust and it's kind of gross. <laughs> so I asked you guys on Instagram if I should take this and replace it with this new cake. This cake looks nice, but this guy has been around for so long. I've been debating throwing this cake away for such a long time, 
but I just never gotten to it. So I thought I'd leave the decision up to you guys. As of right now, 70% of you said that I should replace it. And I'm very sorry that you had to sit in that corner and watch all the other cakes fulfill their promise of turning into something cool while you fell on the floor a few times and then broke off everywhere. How sad. <laughs> Goodbye. Although we've come to the end of the road. It smells like a linen trap that has never been cleaned. Oh, brand new cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great Valentine's Day. And if you're single, too bad. Just get over it. Take a Benadryl. Go to sleep. Come back tomorrow. I love you guys. I will see you next week with a superhero cake. Can you guess which superhero it is? Can you visualize it? It's Superman. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. It's a vision. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.